control room operator Warren Huss knows how to carefully monitor the power plant systems generating electricity to Western Kentucky. Getting readings, making out permits, answering alarms. Some days the coal's wet, your attention's focused on the mules. But when Huss first walked into a Big Rivers facility as a utility operator in 1972, he had zero power plant experience. I wanted to come to work here because I needed a job. Uh, there was a lot of equipment and a big place and I was lost for a few days. The hiring process was short and a few weeks later, Huss showed up to work with his former appliance and oil field knowledge, ready to begin a new career. I started out at, at Reed Station and then they sent me up to Coleman to work up there and for training. First three months was like four hours training and then four hours working on the, on the unit. These were the early years for the Big Rivers power plants, with the first station generating electricity in 1969. His new job sometimes called for interesting solutions. The six months I was up Coleman, we shot a uh, shotgun and knocked slag out of the boiler for 12 hours a day a lot of times. Uh, when I first came back to Reed, uh, they were buying pretty good coal and we didn't use, didn't use a shotgun. But it wasn't long before Huss moved up in positions and found his way to the controls. Started working auxiliary and then I went in the control room. We had a lot of people come and go. Back then, Huss couldn't picture that he would one day retire from that position. The only thing I really knew is it was a steady job. And it <clears throat> turned out really well because I liked it. Work in the plants evolved over time as manual controls turned to digital. But the transformation that means the most to Huss is the development of safety. 1981, we got it in, uh, in the contract that we'd have a bargaining unit safety representative. And I was the first bargaining unit safety representative they had at Green. But it was a new position, a, a new concept. Hust and other Big Rivers employees would later volunteer for Kentucky Safety and Health Network leadership positions and coordinate with the company to create a safety motto. Employee safety meetings became the norm. Those efforts would soon produce significant results. We've got a graph each year that showed how many recordable injuries we had. Well, 1981, we had 181. And that's, at this station, that's 181 trips to the doctor for recordable injuries. And we've gone to, you know, some years, uh, company-wide, we only have two or three. Uh, Cohen went multiple years having zero recordables. Today, Big Rivers holds more than 50 Governor's Safety and Health Awards, in part to the strong culture built in cooperation with employees like Hust. After 50 years in the plant, he is proud to leave behind an active safety legacy. Well, it's just totally different than it was, what, 20 years ago. When they got started, they've continued and, and they've they put money into it and had speakers come out. Safety has just gone to, from being an afterthought when I first hired in to just really being top priority.